Hey guys, my name is Kate. This is a new channel. I started this channel for me. I have no idea what I'm going to put on it. I don't have an agenda. I really don't know. That's how I feel about life a lot lately is that sometimes I just don't know. <laughs> but I know more than I used to. Which is funny because before I pretty much at least thought I had it all figured out. I am an ex-Christian, or at least I'm working on it. The thing is, is that for people like me who have always followed a specific religion, you're not really ever out of it when it's your entire family. I grew up fundamentalist, and so to some of you, you might think, oh, okay, I get it. And others of you might have no idea why that makes it different. There are people who grew up in religious homes that maybe, you know, if you're Catholic, you went to Mass and Catechism and Easter and Christmas, you know, people that were religious, but they led lives, they did things, they went to movies. When you grow up fundamentalist, it's different. Um, it's not to say that someone who is a fundamentalist believes more strongly than someone who isn't, but it does mean different things for your everyday life, for your family, for your career path. If I could just describe this to you, I was born into a family that everything about life was centered in your faith. Everything from which college you went to, to who you married and when, to women only wearing skirts or dresses, men having hair only a certain length, measured by ruler, <laughs> that you were frowned upon if you went to movies that you didn't listen to the radio. It's different. And I don't know how to really convey that to you unless you're also a fundamentalist and you just already get it. But take my word for it, leaving and changing the way my mind works is probably the hardest thing that I'll have ever done in my life. The thing is, is you're not really ever out of it as long as you still have your family around. You can no longer be an active participant, whether that's physically or even just emotionally, but when it's your whole life, it still has a way of being your whole life, even if you no longer believe. So I made this channel because I need an outlet. And I'm sure that there are other people going through this too. Other people that wish they could come out, but know that the heartbreak it will cause, the pain, the rift, the loss, for how short this life is, it almost just is not worth it. And so you're locked inside your own mind, trying to figure out what you believe or why you don't believe it anymore. And really, what it feels like is starting over. I feel like I missed out on all of life. <laughs> and that may not make any sense, but there are these things about life that other people apparently just know. That I don't know. <laughs> For example, Anyone ever that has ever been to a public school science class understands Evolution 101 or the idea of anything other than just natural selection or should I say adaptation. That is as far as my evolutionary knowledge goes because I was never in a position to learn that kind of science. I have only ever learned creationist science, give or take here or there, 
um, you know, I had a short time in a public school, but, you know, otherwise all of my, um, all of my science, my math, my reading, my gym class was based on biblical precepts. And so I'm now almost 30 years old and know nothing about how scientists see the world. I mean, I'm trying to learn, but it's not fast growth. So I guess this channel is for me and maybe for someone else who's in the same place as me that feels a little alone or maybe a lot alone, lost, confused, and starting over. In one sense, starting over feels like a gift. It feels like I have this whole chance to make my life exactly as I want it and the world is my oyster because everything else was based around the fear of burning in hell or fear of disappointing those you love, which of course, of course I still don't want to disappoint those I love, but it still changes things. It opens up the world to having a lot more possibilities and a lot more to learn. So I no longer believe in any Abrahamic religion or really any sentient religion of a god. Um, in some ways I identify with religions that have many gods, but I think a lot of that for me personally I believe is, is a man-made thing, is mythology, is, is us trying to find reason for life after this life, to find reason in this life. To know that it's not all just over, to find purpose. I do believe in a source energy and I believe in in things that maybe over time I'll make videos about and maybe eventually as I'm learning I'll share with you how I feel. But I don't think my introductory video is the right time for it. I don't want to alienate anyone who might see this yet. But the beauty of it all is that no matter what you believe, it's yours to believe it now without fear of repercussion or being cast away. And yes, if you can't be honest with those you love, there's still that, that feeling that it's your own secret and it's, it's like hiding and you're still afraid of everything you say because you, you don't want to hurt people. You don't want to be loved less. But I'm realizing that in some ways, relationships are conditional. And even if you've had those people in your life your entire life and you've had a certain kind of relationship, should you change and move forward or leave something that they thought was a part of you behind, you can lose that relationship or you can lose the affection and strength that was there. And you realize then that your whole relationship was based upon something conditional as long as you were in agreement about XYZ. I need this channel for me. Even if I'm only talking to myself, I need to know that I can say things out loud, work through things, have a process, feel like I'm safe here to acknowledge what I'm feeling. Because like I said, I'm pretty sure this will be the hardest thing I'll have ever done. But I think it'll be the best thing I'll have ever done. Thanks for watching.